Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning light on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn about the new kind of nested namespace, which is an inline namespace. You know, this new inline namespace is introduced in the C++11 standard. So first of all, what is an inline namespace? An inline namespace is nothing but a nested namespace with the inline keyword. Unlike the ordinary nested namespaces, names in an inline namespace can be used as if they were the direct members of the enclosing namespace. You know, if it is confusing, don't worry, you know, when we see the example, it's going to be clear. So here, you know, we're going to build an example, you know, which is going to explain use of inline namespace and also, you know, how to define an inline namespace. All right, let's begin. So here in this tutorial, we're going to build the namespace, you know, which is going to contain the code of the specific version of our software. So here, let's say namespace, you know, the keyword and then the namespace name, let's say app version, you know, you guys can give any name and then now we're going to have the block of curly braces and here, you know, we're going to define a couple of namespaces. So it's going to be namespace and uh, let's say version one and inside this uh, version one, we're going to have a function and let's call it as white display and inside this display function, we're just going to say our display function from the version one. And let's end this line and also all right now you know what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna copy this namespace you know the nested namespace i mean i'm gonna paste it again in the next line and i'm gonna change this one to version 2 and uh, you know it's just gonna change this one to 2 and i'm gonna paste it again and i'm gonna change this one to 3 and you know i'm gonna change this one to 3 all right now, you know, when we use an inline keyword with a nested namespace, you know, the members defined inside that inline nested namespace will be available just as they were the members of the enclosing namespace. So here, let's use the inline keyword here in this version three namespace. Now, you know, we can access this display function from this version 3 namespace just like it is a member of this app version namespace so here in my main function i'm going to use app version and then the scope resolution operator and i can access display all right i'm going to save this i'm going to build and run this okay i need to use the stream insertion operator here also and here also no, a silly mistake just build and run it again and this time you get display function from version 3 now you know if you want to call the uh, display function from any other nested namespaces for example let's say version 2 at that time you know you guys can use the enclosing namespace name you know which is app version and then the nested namespace name which is you know version 2 and then the scope resolution operator and then the function name you know which is display and that's it i'm just gonna build and run this display function from version 3 and display function from version 2. so now you know you guys may ask me like you know what is the use of this inline namespace so this inline namespace is normally used you know when code changes from one release of an application to the next for example here in this case you guys can see now we have put the current versions code which is the function in this version 3 and we have made that inline so whenever we access that using this app version you know we get the latest code if you want to access the code from the older versions at that time you guys can use you know this second method and access that specific version code all right the next thing that i want you guys to teach you is you know when we use this uh, inline namespaces at that time you know the inline keyword must appear in the first definition of the namespace you know here you know we can have it again for example i just gonna uh, copy this and paste it in the next line next time and now you know we have this one two times and let's change this one to whatsapp 
and uh, you know just change this one to whatsapp so now you know i can call this whatsapp function uh, just like it is a member of this app version because you know we have defined this version 3 namespace as inline in its first definition so here you know when we use it second time you know we may choose to use the inline keyword again or you know we can leave it so here i can call the whatsapp method whatsapp and now i'm gonna build and run this and now you guys can see whatsapp function from the version 3 so this is it guys this is about the inline namespace in c++ thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial